time equivalencies. Hours, days, weeks, months, and years. All right, we got a chart. This chart, it tells us uh, everything we need to know about units of time. So you can see here one minute. Well, one minute equals 60 seconds. And then one hour, well, that's 60 minutes. We also have one day equals 24 hours. One week, that's seven days. One month is about 30 days. You know, there are some months that have 31 days, but for the most part, uh, we can say a month has about 30 days, uh, and one year has 365 days in it. Okay, there are 60 seconds in one minute. 60 seconds make up one minute. And so let's go ahead, and here's a problem for you. If Peter ran for five minutes, how many seconds did he run for? So you're going to take 60 seconds and you're going to figure out how many uh, seconds are in five minutes. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 60, 60 seconds in a minute, times five, five minutes. And that tells you that there are 300 seconds in five minutes. Okay, the next one, there are 60 minutes in one hour. So Maria read her book for two hours. How many hours did she read for? And again, what we're going to do here is we're going to take 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. We know that she, uh, Maria read for two hours and we're going to multiply 60 times two, or if you want to, you can use repeated addition and do 60 plus 60. And this will tell you that there are 120 minutes in two hours. So to answer the question, Maria read for two hours, or Maria read for 120 minutes. Pardon me, I'm wiping my forehead here. Okay, the next one. There are 24 hours in one day. So my question to you is, Michelle will be at camp for three days. How many hours will she be at camp for? So again, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, 24, the number of hours in one day, and we're going to multiply it by 3 because our question tells us she'll be there for 3 days. And 24 times 3, or if you use repeated addition, 24 plus 24 plus 24, uh, that'll tell you that there are 72 hours in 3 days. So Michelle will be at camp for 72 hours. All right, the next uh, unit of time that we want to look at is there are 7 days in 1 week. And the question I have for you, Ahmed will be on vacation for four weeks. How many days will he be, for how many days will he be on vacation? Well, we're going to take four, the number of weeks, and we're going to multiply that by seven. That's the number of days. And that'll tell you that there are 28 days in four weeks. So the answer to the question is Ahmed will be on vacation for 28 days. Okay, there are about 30 days in one month. There are about three months until summer vacation. About how many days are there until vacation? Well, we're going to take 30. That's the number of days in a month. And we're going to multiply it by 3. That's how many months are in our question. And that, this will tell you that there are 90 days in three months. So the answer to the question about how many days are there until vacation? The answer is there are about 90 days. Okay, there are about, or actually there are 12 months in one year. That says there are about, that's a typo on uh, my part, pardon me. There are 12 months in one year. My daughter is three years old. How many months old is my daughter? What we need to do is we need to take 12 and multiply it by 3, 12 months in a year, and three, uh, 3 years in the question. And that'll tell you that there are 36 months in 3 years. So the answer to the question is, my daughter is 36 months old. Okay, I believe this is the last one. There are 365 days in 1 year. And the question I have for you is, I have lived in my house for 2 years. How many days have I lived in my house? 
And just like we've done before, what we're going to do here is we're actually, this time we're going to take 365, 365 days in a year, and we're going to add it together two times. So 365 plus 365. Uh, you could multiply that. You could say 365 times 2. And that tells you that there are 730 days in two years. So 365 plus 365, the answer is I've been in my house for 730 days. And that wraps up our look at uh, time equivalencies. Uh, in reality, you just need to know the numbers in each one of those, and then uh, it's just some simple multiplication. So, uh, as always, this is uh, Mr. Pearson. This has been a uh, Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade Production. Please don't forget to subscribe below so you can keep up with all the videos. Uh, also, if this was helpful to you, uh, leave a comment and definitely hit that uh, the like button for me. Thanks. Goodbye.